don't forget, when you get to the last question, you're allowed to use a calculator. There's no need to work it out in your head. There was a boy in Karen's class called Fergus Malahide, who sat at Karen's table while Bernard was away sick. In most ways, he was a very nice boy. Is that my calculator, Fergus? Yes, only finished. But he had a habit of borrowing things. Thanks. Without asking first if he could. That's my pencil. Yes, shan't be a minute. Don't just sit there, Karen. Get on with it. Finished already, Fergus? Well done. Fergus was always borrowing things. In art, he borrowed her paintbrush. Fergus? Mine needed rinsing out. Come along, Karen. It's not going to get finished on its own. Oh, yes, Fergus. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And at lunchtime, he borrowed Karen's chair. Fergus didn't just borrow things at school. My radio is gone. Gone? It was on my bed this morning and now it's not there. It's gone. Well, don't look at me. I haven't got it. I wonder if Fergus borrowed it when he came round to pick up your rollerblades. Fergus took my rollerblades. Well, yes. You said it was all right. But you didn't mind. <sighs> I think he borrowed your cycle helmet as well. Sometimes when Fergus borrowed things, he would leave a note to say thank you. But it didn't help. Fortunately, when she had Bernard's watch, Karen could get her things back any time she wanted. Fergus, where did you come from? You borrowed my radio. Yeah, I know. I was listening to it just now, but it's disappeared. I've got it. Oh. And I've got these. They're mine. But why didn't you ask before you borrowed them? Your mum told me you were at trombone lesson. That's not the point. You can't borrow things without asking. But I couldn't ask you, could I? You weren't there. Oh. did you do that? And remember, the only thing we're worried about is how neat it looks. This is a handwriting exercise, and I don't mind what you write. You Karen thought that perhaps it was time Fergus learned how annoying it was when someone borrowed things without asking. OK, off you go. No pencils or burrows, please. I want everyone using their pens for this. Lost something, Fergus? Yeah, I think I left my pen at home. Or maybe someone's borrowed it. Uh, don't worry. You can have it back when I finish with it. Karen! I won't be long. I was trying to tell you I don't use that pen. It's broken. Oh, Karen, that's not a very good start, is it? 
at lunchtime. She borrowed Fergus's knife and fork. But it didn't worry Fergus at all. The trouble was that whenever you borrowed something from Fergus, and Karen once borrowed his trousers, he would simply borrow it from someone else. Fergus has took my trousers. Here. Oh, thanks. Just going out for a bit, Mum. OK. And Fergus still borrowed things. He borrowed her bicycle. He's having a good time on your bike, isn't he? Nice to see him enjoying himself. Fergus! He borrowed her terrapins. Fergus asked me to tell you he's borrowed your terrapins. He wanted to enter them into a pet competition. Did he? And you'll never believe it. He's just phoned to say they won second prize and he got ten pounds. Fergus won ten pounds with my terrapins? Yes, and he wants to share the money with you. Isn't that nice? Oh, I could kill him. And on one occasion, he tried to borrow the watch. Has anyone got a watch I can borrow? Sorry. Karen's got one, hasn't she? No. Karen, I was just going to ask if I... No. I only want to borrow it for a couple of minutes, you see. No. Said. I mean, there's a few of us trying to... No. It's not your watch, Fergus, and you can't borrow it. All oh, right. You need a watch for Mr Ellis's science experiment, Fergus? Yes, miss. You can borrow mine if you like. Be careful with it, won't you? Yes, miss. Thanks. What you do with your own profit is up to you, Karen. But I always think it's a good idea to share what we have sometimes with other people. You know what I mean? One pound seventy-nine, please. One pound seventy-nine, please. I'm sorry, I haven't got any. <sighs> Why could you put those back where you found them, then? Next, please. And then she had an idea. be wrong, but it would teach Fergus a lesson. found Fergus, the first thing he did was pay back the money he had borrowed. Thanks. Fergus, if you take money from someone without telling them, it's stealing. What? 
It's not borrowing, Fergus. It's stealing. No, it's not. I left you a note. That doesn't make it all right. Of course it does. You knew where the money was. Fergus still did not think he had done anything wrong. Okay. Supposing your note was found in the cash till of a shop, and all the money from the shop had gone, and you had it in your coat pocket, wouldn't people think that was stealing? When Fergus found the money in his pocket, he had no idea how it had got there. But he knew if anyone saw it, or found the note Karen said she had left in the till at the shop, he would be in terrible trouble. Fergus Malahide. Yes? Do you know anything about this? I have borrowed your money. Look, I promise you, I didn't take any money from that shop. I didn't say anything about money being taken from a shop. But as a matter of fact, you're right. This note was found in the cash till of the newsagents, and all the money was gone. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No. You sure? Yes. And you don't have the money? I... I... I think I'd better have a word with your parents. Now, you stay right there where I can keep an eye on you. What have you done? Oh, come on, Fergus, you don't have to worry. Not worry? I mean, you haven't stolen anything, have you? Just borrowed it, remember? You can't get into trouble for that. He's gonna send me to prison. You think so? Poor Fergus My was very frightened, and Karen thought maybe it was time to put everything right. It's all right, you don't have to. What? The money's gone. I put it back. How? How did? I told you, I put it back. I can do things very quickly, you see. Sometimes I can do them in no time at all. Say again, please. The money's back. Yes. What, all of it? Every last penny. Well, who put it there? It just appeared. I see. Looks like you won't have to go to prison this time. Look, I don't know what's been going on here. I have far more important things to do than spend my time trying to find out. But if anything like this should happen again, I shall know where to come. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. You start by writing in the title, underlined, of course, neatly please with a ruler, and if anyone needs any reference books, they can come up and help themselves. Off you go. Can I buy you a ruler, please, Karen? Sure. Thanks. And since then, Fergus has been very careful. These days, he never borrows anything without asking. At least, not from Karen. <laughs> 